I'm interrupting this program with some more breaking news. That's right. That's right. Return of the Ghetto Legends. We're going out west. January 7th, and guess where the show is? At the LA Forum. Yep, we're right there. I'm throwing up some powder like LeBron. It's going crazy. January 7th, go to the website and get the tickets. Or, or go to the app. You don't got the app? You don't want to come to this show. But January 7th, we in LA. Shit. <laughs> get the tickets. Me, Chico, DC. Still ain't found me no new opener yet, though. Still ain't found me no new opener. Send me those clips. January 7th, return of the ghetto legends. Merry Christmas. I get what you Don't do it. No, don't do it. Uh, swing on that nigga right now. Say I won't. Don't, don't. Ten, bring him in the door like a whip, man. That boy Murray. Y'all better stop. It look like he ready to do some other shit. We saw a grocery shop at uh, Family Dollar, though. That's how I knew that shit was real. Y'all see grocery. Look at that nigga. You mean like, damn, fuck, nigga, y'all. Yeah, we had Family Dollar with it. But they ain't got number two aisles of food. Yeah. I swear, we Family Dollar got them paper towels that say paper towel on the motherfucker. That's it. They got them pecan swirls. What? Them cinnamon pecan swirls. What? 15 in a box, boy. Get two of them boxes, boy. But well, we got food for days, boy. Nigga, he's raised off pecan swords. <laughs> a loose one at that. Flo was on cocaine. That's the cocaine section right there. Now, that Heron. Oh, nah, Heron don't make it move quick. That's ecstasy. I don't trust them ladies over there. I feel like they'll give you some pussy, but they won't get all the way naked. Body rockin', knockin' the boots. Nigga don't have no paper towels, no nothing. <laughs> no pillowcases, none of that they shit. They got one wash rag, one towel. One wash rag, one towel. Wash <laughs> rag in the bathroom, hard than a motherfucker. <laughs> Especially if a nigga live by himself. That nigga might get out the shower, butt naked, wipe his dick off on the curtains in the living room. <laughs> That's how you know a bitch crazy. She still leave voicemail. <laughs> that that trying to keep cool up. <laughs> Look at she rubbing her eyes too. That shit must have hit hard. God damn. That he bitch on it bad. He must have had some of that good batch. Leave that white lady alone. That shit gonna fuck around and be in the newspaper. Hell no, nah, they won't leave us alone. Fuck. Did I say something wrong? Yeah, what the top fuck that is shit. Talking about pass the blunt. You just want me for my weed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When you take over the club and That's get to running the home. It needs to happen. It's still possible. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lost the step. Oh. Uh, she gained some stuff. What you tell me? She was just regular fan then. Now she grown woman fan. <laughs> man, play me some of those great instrumental with the instruments, man. We're gonna get started here in a minute. I'm just having my morning coffee. That's it. You know. It's, you know it ain't time to go to work as soon thing. as you get there. That's the thing. I wish I could smoke weed. You can't. Oh my God, smoking the chicken coop. Oh, hell I'm no. I'm going everybody's high. Oh, man. And I no, hate we that. Don't like, want I that. want to be cool. Like, I want to be able to smoke. That's the, that's the mindset you got to be smoking with. And if you get high enough, you're going to be that anyway. I don't know about that. <laughs> I've tried it a few times. No. Oh. And it's always like, not. Were you by yourself? No. That's what you're going to have to do then. Smoke by yourself. <laughs> And before you start smoking, you need to make just go through the house and make sure everything is secure and be like, nothing can happen to me. I'm by myself. Uh, uh, then you I'm sit there and be like, <laughs> I think I will find a window. <laughs> mm -hmm. not, not screaming at the damn window. Yes, yes. No edibles either. Oh my god, that's oh my god. That's where I started fucking up. Yeah, I ate a whole corner of the crunchy brownie. I was high for an entire weekend. It's like, I wish it shit it like that could happen to me. Guy. I wish I could eat a corner <laughs> or something and be high the entire weekend. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> it, was, it was just not good. So I wanted to 
it's not a good thing for me, and I want it to be so bad. I had to start the edible anyway because it wasn't about the weed, it was about the snack. Like, I'm just eating you just eat. yeah. not, see, that's, I'm You're a, a greedy snacker. little nigga. <laughs> me too. <laughs> they replaced it with weed. It's a little bit like grass. <laughs> Where's the chocolatey? Yeah. You gotta get that shit from the dispenser. That's the real edible. Fuck this shit people cold. make. Yeah. That shit that came from the factory. So like it tastes that. better? I don't yes, it tastes like a regular candy bar. A candy then bar. Then the next thing you know. <laughs> Fucking legs and shit start tingling. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. See, my legs that's start good, tingling. I'm gonna be like, take me to the hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna be paranoid immediately. No. Immediately. I don't need to oh man. Me. No what? fucking way. Oh no, I'm paralyzed. <laughs> no, that's, that would be me. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. Well, you know. Yeah. You have. Is which, is not for everybody. It's definitely not. Some yeah. people already, you know, they got some shit going on in their mind where they already. I might be that people. Be fight. Yeah. <laughs> Those people. That's, that's me. Oh, that's me. shit. What's been up, though? Everything and nothing at the same time, if you believe it. I, I don't know why that shit goes. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You know, I'm just always on the go. On the go. On the go. Jay ain't got that soft music playing like he want us to join the church. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the devotion? If there's anybody with anything on their heart or their mind today, yeah, I feel he should just set in the mood. That's it. You know, you go to the to the wake and they be like, "Is there any remarks from the floor?" Keep it two minutes or less. Two minutes. And they never do. No. <laughs> The intro will be one minute. Hey, my name's Carlos Miller, and I go to Second Baptist Mount Missionary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sinai <laughs> Church with the yeah, Reverend oh, Wesley Smith. Tell him. Is our pastor and head of worship. And you know, to be absent in the body. Take your time. Is to be present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. <laughs> Now, the last time I saw Roscoe, <laughs> he had that big old smile on his face. Y'all know the one. Y'all know the one. Uh -huh. Everybody in here has seen that smile. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he told me, he looked at me, he said, Cousin, I want you to take me fishing. And, and, and it blew my mind, because we ain't been fishing since we were little boys. We used to spend our summers down in Mississippi with my grandmother, and we used to go fishing every day. What lake? What lake? Oh, you know that lake behind Miss Johnson's house. Everybody in here has been to that lake behind Miss Johnson's house. And every time we get to fishing good, here she comes. Don't you be fishing. Mm -hmm. I'm saying all that to say this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's already been fishing, two minutes. Mm -hmm. I already been two minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's when I got the call. <laughs> when I got that call and they say, you need to come down here and see your cousin. I took off work that Monday. <laughs> took off work. You see the day Thursday. Uh-huh. Here we are. And what was wrong with him? He died. Wasn't nothing wrong with him. <laughs> he ain't died. He fell off a ladder. Okay. That didn't kill him, though. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he got no. bit by a pit bull while he was laying there. <laughs> But that ain't what killed him either. Oh! Yeah. Went down there to the hospital for the surgery. The girl left the damn scissors in his chest. Oh, but oh. that ain't what killed him. He can't even sue the hospital. Mm -mm. No. Because that ain't what killed him. Right. He wouldn't stop popping them damn pills. <laughs> but that ain't what killed him either. Oh, OK. He popped two of them pills and tried to go jogging. Passed out. But that ain't what killed him. Mm. <laughs> they don't never get to the reason. Never. <laughs> then you know his blood pressure was high, but hell, he used to love to eat them bacon sandwiches. But that ain't what killed him. He loved a damn pork chop. Yeah. I think Miss Jones killed him for fishing in her lake. Now, see? I think that's what happened. That ain't what killed him. Damn. Because Miss Jones did too. 
<laughs> Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Listen here. Listen here. This episode right here, I don't never say this. This episode ain't for everybody. This episode is for the grown ass men. This for the hood niggas that smoke wood tip black and mild. <laughs> Not wood tip. If you ever owned or purchased a box shed, a Crown Vic, a Grand Marquis, anything of that nature, a four door sedan, Lincoln Town cars, the shit like that, Pontiacs and shit, this your episode. <laughs> Cause we got a real star in here today. Oh. I'm telling you, if you yes, ever Lord. seen the movie Players Club, then you know. Yes, Lord. Then you know. <laughs> Take your that time. That we ain't bullshitting today. No, it ain't Ice Cube. <laughs> Fuck what you talking about. <laughs> we got the real star of the movie. You talking about? <laughs> she turned this motherfucker out. If she never would have went in there and bought them shoes, <laughs> make the money. Don't let the money make you. You know how many people tattooed that shit across their chest plate right now? Listen, man. We got Rodney from Players Club, but Chris Fowler is in here with us today. Now look, you know, Halloween just passed. Yes. And a lot of women picked your character mm. to dress mm. up as. And I wanted to see the girls that went crazy with it. She yeah, did a great job, right? Did a great she job. She did a good job. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, I, I'm just humbled by it, like for real, because every Halloween it's like more and more yeah. young ladies do it. So I'm like, oh wow, keep me alive, then. Wow, I gotta I love it. Right. So like, <laughs> you know, that movie is is a, a cult classic amongst mm -hmm. the culture. Yeah. So it's like, did you know that this character would be way bigger than just a supporting character? No, I had no idea. I was really nervous about even doing the role because my mom is like Seven Day Adventist and a teacher. So I grew up in a really strict household. So when I got the role, even though I was good and grown, I was like, I'm about to just tell my mom I'm about to go work for Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, yeah. So she <laughs> yeah. you had to hide it on the low. I was hiding it from everybody. And then I was like, yeah, I'm just out here. I'm just going to be their assistant. And she was like, oh, OK, why can't I ever come visit? And I was over there in the G-string on set. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm just scheduling things for them. I think that's what made it so good. <laughs> what you think, Nab? I see you just over there shaking your head, man. Cause like I went think, I thought she she embraced the role so well. Right. My mic fucked up. Y'all motherfuckers, <laughs> man. Oh, I. Oh, it's oh, it's my mind. Mind. That expensive shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was on set with yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's in his head now. Nah, he can't, he can't go past that. Straight. <laughs> okay, we good now. All right. Go like, on. Like, like, moving on, like I never like not that I had so much love for you, but like. Why well, you ain't had no love? I did have love. Go. I had love for you, but I'm saying when I would see. Ebony and other movies, just like, think about it, the best man. I like, look at her keeping up shit some more. Like, you know what I'm saying? She, yeah, like, she, she always keeping up some shit. Like, she just got that on her. So it was like, it uh, never was you. Yeah. But, <laughs> man, you, you did your thing, but that made uh, me right. not fuck with her. Yeah, oh, I love, okay, I I love how you was in the movie, and then when you wasn't in the movie, I felt like you was at the mall or some shit, like doing yeah. real stripper shit. Yeah. Like, I felt like you was supposed to be in there, but you just wasn't there. Yeah. Well, you know, I have real stripper friends. That's, I think that's how I did. Mm, that's how I was okay. able to embrace the role mm. because I was the only person from Atlanta that they cast. And so I was like, okay, you know what? No, I'm about to, I'm about to represent for Atlanta. Like, I'm not going to right? let everybody from LA like kill it and not be the weak one. So I was like, stripper clubs, like, okay, how they do that shit right there? And I was talking to like just like the most gangster like girls in the club that was bringing other girls in. Like, oh yeah, I brought her from, I bought this little bitch from Alabama. I'm like, let me talk to you. He's like, how you get her to come from Alabama? So I was like, oh, that's about to be what Ronnie did. So I was just making sure that I like really embraced who that character was gonna be. So when I went to California, Q was like, yeah, so uh, what you think? I was like, oh, you asked me what I think? Oh, okay, great. And we just kind of collaborated and came up with what she would, what she would do and what she because. In real life, I looked so much like Lisa Ray with both being fair skinned, both having kind of the same kind of hair. 
believe it or not, we are both pretty much the same height. I'm not that much taller than her. So the producers at first kind of gave him pushback. You're going to leave the ass out. I was waiting on you to say the same ass. <laughs> same ass. I, I was just waiting. Yeah, we, got, we got competing asses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Asses. But um, but yeah, so the producers was just kind of like, nah, nah, you know, we don't really think that she should be be that role because they look so much alike. Hey, names. Yeah, it was about to be an issue. Yeah. And Q really fought for me. He was like, nah, like she's killing it. Like, so we're gonna come up with something to where we're gonna make them different enough to where it'll be, you know, people won't think like they look alike. Yeah. So that's what we came up with the platinum blonde and I might, my, my, if you look at the movie, like I had on heels this high, and Lisa Ray had on like a little kitten heels. Yeah, everybody thought you was like six seven. Yeah, yeah. they thought I was. Just, I mean, I'm tall, and I'm and I, and I have a tall presence. You know, I had broad shoulders and shit, so I look like a lot taller and bigger than I really am. And then people when they be like, "Damn, I thought you was a lot taller and bigger than that." And I'm like, "Yeah, no, camera." Camera does. It be putting a lot of shit on you, but it's all yeah, good. Yeah, everybody think I'm tall as fuck. <laughs> I thought you was tall. Like, no, man, you really can't be tall in this business. Tall, yeah. tall people don't do well they in the don't entertainment do well. business. I'm telling you, everybody no. who you think tall is fucking short as hell. I can't get like a lot of roles because if the leading man is like 5'7 or 5'8, you know, they're gonna be like, yeah, no, not you. You could be the auntie. Right, exactly. <laughs> or the villain. <laughs> Some shit like that. Some shit like villain. <laughs> Which is always fun. It's yeah. fun to be the villain. What was your favorite scene in that movie? My favorite scene in the movie was, hmm, let's see. I had a few favorite scenes. Um, I think. And it's not because of the rape scene. It's not because of that part. But the reason that was my favorite scene is just because, um, what's his name? Damn, now I can't even remember the other comedian's name. Not AJ Johnson, but Alex. Yeah, Alex, Alex Thomas. Thomas. Alex Shout out to Thomas. Alex Thomas. He was so <laughs> silly. Alex Thomas, and I love him so much. So he was, he would just always make different jokes. Every time I would come out the room and I would be at the little buffet thing, he would say something different every time. And I'm like, dude, you're trying to break me. Cause he was like, you are always on point. Like, and I'm gonna yeah. get you. And so that's when he's like, yeah, so some make your booty clap. Break your bounce for me. And that was like not in there. And I was like about to laugh. I'm like, get your ass out of here. Because you know, back then that was really popular, especially here in Atlanta. Yeah. But in the West Coast, they weren't feeling it like that. So he was like, yeah, I'm about to just say some, some crazy shit to you. So that was probably my favorite scene. Yeah. What's your favorite scene in Players Club? <sighs> it probably have to be the fight. I say, say the fight. <laughs> no, the fight. I got some funny shit about the fight. Like, the fight was not supposed to go the way it went. For real? Yeah, no, it was not supposed to go like that. Like all that blood and stuff. It was it was supposed to go a different way. And we choreographed the fight. Like we practiced and we rehearsed and all of this stuff. And I knew in my spirit, I said, the fight is not gonna go like that because I know that this motherfucker Lisa Ray is about to do something to me. Like, and don't get me wrong, we're cool, we're good. You know what I'm saying? But at that time, we were both just young and uh, coming up and it was just this animosity that came about just because I just think, you know, so just, that shit was just real. Shit. Because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have lost. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and 85 South Show listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com backslash 85 South. Hey, what's up? It's Clayton English. Let's get serious for a second. It's that time of the year again, and seasonal depression is real. BetterHelp can assist you with any type of depression so you can achieve the happiness you deserve. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. Visit betterhelp.com backslash 85 South. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. 
Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller, and Christmas is right around the corner. And the best present to give your old lady is that rock, just like you used to. So go ahead and get yourself some Blue Chew. That's right, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. The best part is all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. And we got a special deal for our listeners. You can get some Blue Chew for free. That's right. All you got to do is go to bluechew.com and use the promo code 85 south at checkout and just pay for the shipping. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. That's right. Go to bluechew.com, promo code 85 south to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more important details and safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. They fuck with us. Get it? They fuck with us. All right, I don't fuck it, man. Whatever. <laughs> But here's the thing. So we had choreographed the whole fight and she ended up pushing pushing me into a mirror oh. and I hit my head. That was not supposed to happen. And so the blood came out my mouth, but it wasn't supposed to come out then. I was holding a, a, a pellet in my mouth. I was supposed to bust it at a certain time. But when she did that, I was like, oh, bitch, it's a blood. <laughs> it was like, some blood came out. I was like, oh, that's what we doing. So I got up immediately and like grabbed her. And like, it, if you look back at the movie, and I pushed her, and then I pushed her down. And she was like, hey, 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 that's not how that shit's supposed to come. No, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. She I'm just got she real. Now, we gotta rewind this shit. I gotta watch like, it again. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't know like, that bitch was 50 I, 50. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it just, you know, it, it just, but I think that that's just, you know, without the proper, I guess, training. And it was, I was new, she was yeah. new. And so shit happens, you know what I'm saying? And it just went down the way. And I was like, hey, I was very reactive. Y'all and, both embraced the role. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, man. So that fight was not supposed to go like that. <laughs> but it was tension built up because the other scene, when I say I run this motherfucker and I put my finger in her face, that wasn't like that. That wasn't written in there at all. And what I told Cube is I was like, I don't want her to like rehearse with me. I don't want us to go through this scene because I want her to be hella uncomfortable when I walk up on her. That so, did it. And that was, that was what made it believable. Because anything we rehearsed, it was too rehearsed. She would just be really like, like, oh, well, girl, don't back up off me, girl. And I was like, I don't want that. Like, I want it to be like, the hell? So I just ran up on her and was like, I run this motherfucker and put my finger in her face. And she was like, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So all of that is real. It's almost like, oh, my God, I can't believe she put her finger in my face. So it was a tension there. Fuck and the it, script. It worked. Fuck the script. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, he pulled me to the side after like our first few days. He said, okay, I'm giving you, Jamie, and Bernie, y'all could just kind of go. And I was like, but I'm not a comedian. I'm doing what the fuck I'm doing, really. <laughs> and he was like, no, just do what you what you know and what you feel is you right for us. Yeah. Hell so yeah. it was good. It was good. So that that's the backstory. <laughs> Man, there's so many classic lines in that movie. Nigga, when they had Dollar Bill in the trunk, he was like, I got insomnia. <laughs> Bernie was just a genius. He was a Hell comedian yeah. genius, but he was just also like a brilliant, brilliant person. That set had to be lit. Yeah, right. yeah it was. It was a good, fun. Good Charlie energy. Murphy. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot of people didn't know Charlie Murphy. Yeah, was like yeah. That, you know, no. just good people. Oh my God, like uh, um, Terrence Howard was on in it and um, Faison. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it was it was really a. It was a lot set. of motherfuckers yeah. in there, man. Yeah. On and the so court. many people that we've lost. Tiny. Tiny. Yeah. Yeah. You know, AJ, was AJ in there? Yeah. Yeah. Was, Michael yeah. Clark Duncan yeah. was in there too. Yeah. That? Michael yeah. Clark Duncan. Yeah. Oh, man. And look, oh man, when just thinking about that. Yeah, and all those guys were like so incredibly talented and just real, really 
kind. Like, yeah. it was like a good asset, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't stressful, so I'm thankful for that. Luke didn't turn the set out. Luke was what, Luke was a fucking gentleman. Like, but that's the thing. These the nicest dude. But it's like if he walk it. in a room, people just start fucking. Yeah, that, yeah, and no, <laughs> and no bullshit. Everything. Women just start fucking and get butt naked and start eating pussy. <laughs> that's what he told Man, me. when Luke, well, I hosted this strip battle one night. <laughs> Luke came from Miami. Man, the bartender had her titties out serving. <laughs> Everybody, everybody yeah, was in he there. Just, he just lay back. He was chilling. He didn't even tell him. I ain't yeah. even he come just for like, all that. Man. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, if you look at, I never take my clothes off. He said, I never take one thing off. It's just people around me. Just start. And I was like, damn. I, he asked me to do a video after Players Club. Um, now here, lizard, lizard. He had a group. Y'all probably like, what the fuck is that song? But, but um, so I went to go do the video, and it was true. Like all the girls was like, well, it's a Luke, so it's a Luke, for a Luke. I was like, okay, well, y'all have fun. <laughs> I'm over here trying to learn how to dive off this cliff. That man's a legend. Yeah, yeah. yeah he he's good people too. Definitely good people. I did a lot of videos, and it was always a hassle trying to get my money. Always a hassle trying to get my money. Shit, ain't shit change. Okay. <laughs> shit, that's part of the game. I'm glad right I don't do the damn videos no more. <laughs> but, uh, but Luke was one of the first people. Like as soon as I did, the, he was like, "Yo, here's your. Make sure she get paid. Here's your money." I'm like, "Damn, my cash." But I mean, I know they don't do it like that. But he was like, "Yo, you're gonna get your money." And just as the set, it's the etiquette on the set was super respectable, and it was just, you know, he's he good people. Yeah. Hey, Amen. So could I ask you one question? What yeah. was supposed to happen at Junior's bachelor party? <laughs> like, like what, we saw what did happen. Yeah. Like, what, was the, what was your goal for his party? I to... told his ass. They was just really coming there to dance. OK. okay. <laughs> you know? I, I know. That was I, not going to happen yeah, like that. Like, you yeah. told him with the fight. I ain't know if you, you said that. I knew it was going to be some bullshit since. when the white girl Vanilla didn't show up. <laughs> Soon in vanilla and that bitch be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, she goes to everything, <laughs> every party. Yeah, <laughs> but no, uh, caffeine. Shout out to caffeine who played my brother and uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Stage turned up. He played an evil nigga in yeah, every man, movie. Nobody looked at him the same since then. I know. Cause you remember, uh, well, what's his name came first? Don't be a menace. You remember? Or well, Menace to Society. Um, I meant Menace to Society. Pardon me, sir. Yeah. So, but he had been being a villain before that. What he did that. before that? I can't specifically name it, but this nigga done been in about 100 shows. And villain. And TV yeah. shows, and he always the mean nigga. But nigga, Kane was finna get his life in order. What he gonna do? Shoot the block up. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Well. But he kind of got Eminem on track. <laughs> Look at it. How you, you get off? You fucked up, bro. You they gonna count. She stopped you. dancing. She stopped all that. Like she realized what the, the life she, Yeah, she realized the cons. <laughs> the cons for real. I mean, That's true. She was out there. Oh uh, yeah. Bad. Yeah. She got together. But that wig they gave her the end, though. The blonde. Yeah. Mm, that was not right. <laughs> I think that's what happened. <laughs> she showed up in that wig. That's when it went left. That left. shit was No, nah, but uh man. You 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 really had a classic role. I and love it. We you. gotta show you much love. Thank you. Especially being, you know, we had this reminiscing and talking about our favorite parts, but on some serious shit, you know. As black entertainers, we don't get a lot of opportunities like that. Yeah. And you know, to have something that's gonna be memorable and that's gonna last. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised. I get like it's almost like um Pam, Pam, Pam uh, Greer. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like that. That's how I feel. Yeah. I'm like, wow, okay. And I had no idea it was that it would be that. Right. You know, but I'm happy. You know, I'm happy. I'm honored. That's why I say, damn, if I don't ever do anything else, but God forbid that that happen. Right. But I'm just saying, if I ever do anything else, I, that I had the opportunity to do something like that. No, that we ain't gonna gotta be, do it. You know, for a long time. People gonna keep watching it. Shit, we are gonna write mm -hmm. something then. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. I told really? you, it gotta be a part two, Ronnie's Revenge. Ronnie's Revenge. <laughs> so you had audition here for it or they? Like, okay. Yeah, how you end up in there? Okay, okay. Now, who remembers the Catfish Station? Ronnie, remember the Catfish Station? Catfish. Here in Atlanta? Uh-uh. Okay. We weren't around. So okay. Okay. That's an all the AT Elliot for real. <laughs> so there was this restaurant down on Pines. 
called the Catfish Station. And so I remember E-40 had a, um, a listening party and Cube was there. But see, I wanted to be a rapper. And okay. so I was like, okay, I'm going to get my tape, the Cube, because that's when they still had tapes. So I see him at E-40s at the party. I'm like, oh, yeah. I was like, yo, can you remember me? Remember me? I used to open concerts and stuff for NWA because I used to live in California. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, you look familiar. I was like, I'm still rapping. Can I get with you to get you my, my, my tape? And he was like, you know what? He was like, you live here in Atlanta? I was like, yeah. He said, you know, I'm about to do a movie here. And I said, oh, OK. I'm thinking, I don't care. Oh, oh my, I want you to listen to my tape. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm about to do a movie here. So maybe you can give me your music, and maybe I could put some, you know, whatever. And I was like, oh, OK. So he was like, we'll exchange numbers, but crowd, whatever, never bumped into each other again. So a few months later, I hear on the radio, I was like, yeah, Ice Cube coming to town. He's having auditions for this movie. They're going to be at the Catfish Station. I was like, oh, my God, that's the movie he was talking about. I'm about to take my tape up there, and he's going to listen to my tape. <laughs> Still trying to rap. Still trying to rap. I'm going to take my tape to this audition, and that's what's going to be. So I'm at work. And so I'm, in, I'm working at a law firm, mind you, because my mother wanted me to be a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, you know, it gets better. So my mom wanted me to really be a lawyer. So I'm at this law firm, and I'm like, okay, damn, if they gonna, are they going to let me go so I can go to the catfish station and take you, my tape? <laughs> so I'm like, how am I going to tell them this? So I was like, listen, you guys, I really want to do this. So I was like, oh, okay, go ahead. You can go on your lunch break. So I get there, and there's a line around the corner, wrapped around the building. And I'm like, damn, I'm not going to make it back from my lunch break. So I'm like, and then so no cell phones. So I'm like, how am I going to call them and tell them I can't come back? So I get in there, and they were like, yeah, you're here for the audition. Here, read these sides and this and that. So they give me these sides for Diamond. And I'm like, OK. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, well, I'm just learning this real quick so I can get up there. And I'm still thinking about my tape and now my job. So. Hours pass. I'm like, I'm probably fired. And so then they call me up there. I go up there. And they're like, okay, so you ready? They're like, what size did they give you? I said, they gave me the size for diamond. They're like, yeah, we've seen too many diamonds today. Go back downstairs and ask them if they can give you the size for Ronnie or somebody else. And I'm like, kidding me? I'm reading diamond just so I can give you my tape. But then Ice Cube wasn't up there. And I'm like, what's really going on? So I go back downstairs, ask for the size for Ronnie. And they're like, on the description, it says, Ronnie, six foot tall, brown skin with cornrows, muscular build. I said, this is, they set me up for failure. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm gonna learn this real quick just so I can go back to there and talk to them about my tape. So I go back up there, and they're like, you ready? And I'm like, yeah. So I start reading the, the, um, the, the size, which is the part with Ebony in the car with Ebony. And I'm like, yeah, so what's up? You trying to get this money or what? And in the middle of it, I just said, I'm about to bust down into a rap. And I was like, hold up, hold up. It's a song right here. And I act like I was turning up the radio, and I just was like, yeah, <laughs> And then I was like, yeah, so anyway, you trying to get this money? And they was like, hey, hey, can you do that again? Was that? I was like, yeah. Where's the ice cube? <laughs> and they were like, well, he won't be here, but if you come back tomorrow and just do the same thing tomorrow, then we'll send his tape, send your tape to him. So I was like, okay. So I, had to, I went back to my job and I was like, I'm so sorry. And it was like, well, yeah, it's okay. And I said, now I gotta go back tomorrow. And they were like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <clears throat> so went back the next day. Cube still wasn't there. I did another audition. They was like, okay, you were great. And we'll give you a call. And then months later, I get a call at my other job because I end up getting fired from that job. <laughs> from the law firm. <laughs> so I was at now at another, like another uh, art gallery. But luckily a girl at the other job knew my number and gave whoever was calling. She so, saw me. She and saw me. I, I end up answering, like, a receptionist answered the phone and said, oh, yeah, Ice Cube is on the phone for you. And I'm like, girl, whatever, because it's three months later. And I pick up the phone, I'm like, hello. He's like, yo, what's up, this Cube? And I was like, whatever. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think it was him. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was somebody playing with me that knew that I went to the audition because I was telling everybody, yeah, what's this audition? They said they're going to send my tape to Cube. And, then, and, then, and so I got tired of telling that story, and I had never been contacted by Cube. So I was like, whatever, it's a lie. So then the girl came in, she was like, yeah, the same person's back on the phone. And he was like, you hung up. And I was like, OK. And I was like, hello. He was like, yo, this is really cute. Don't, like, no. I was like, oh, hey, hello, hello. He's like, yeah, yeah, I saw your audition. And uh, like, you did a great job. And I'm like, oh, shit. 
<laughs> he's like, yeah. So yeah, that's what happened. Then he's like, come to LA, audition again. And so then, you know, but they didn't fly me out there. I had to fly myself out there. That's a black thing. people shit. So then I really did have to start stripping to get the money to get out there. No. <laughs> I just did amateur nights. I just did amateur oh, nights. Okay. <laughs> We need y'all on a song episode. <laughs> Shit. That was still listening like, why this ain't on TV one yet? Like, this is a whole little thing. Man, welcome back to uh, the director's cut. <laughs> Chris Town side of the story. Shit. Yeah. If it ain't, if it ain't too much, did you hit us with a little rap or something? No, 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 it's too much. <laughs> She wanted to get the shit out so bad. Like, but wait, no, no, no. Man, but I did you ever get the tape? We could do a song together, for real, because I can't get right up in that, in that, okay, in that old school pocket. No. Did they oh, ever get it? Lo, lo, he, he in the pocket with the old school shit, uh, too, though. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe I can jump in. I can jump in. Yeah, Lo, show us some of old school shit. Look, not quite, not yet, not yet. Look, look, look. You see how he do? Look, let me hit that. No, I'm just like, okay. Hey, you got me in Hey, hey. <laughs> no. It doesn't have a flashback. Dollar bill had to let me go. <laughs> no, but did, you, did you ever get the music to Cube, though? I never got my damn God, music to Cube. You did a whole movie. Let me tell you something. Never got my music to Cube. Because what ended up happening was when I tried to talk to him about it again, he was like, yeah, 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 but you're going to be acting. I'm telling you, that's, that's going to take off of you. No, I ain't want to talk about that. <laughs> like, he just kind of was like, yeah, not that. And so he's like solidified my life, I guess. <laughs> Shout out to Ice Cube. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Ice Cube. I thought I was gonna be the first little kid before little Kim. I yeah. had the raunchiest raps. I was like, this is ridiculous. Man, we gotta hear that shit. Man, my mom, I'm gonna hear that tape. <laughs> I know she got one of them motherfuckers left. I, I do. Yeah, I want to hear it. I actually have a video that my mother is very ashamed of. Where is it? Is it on YouTube? <laughs> it's on VHS. Oh, it's one of them. Man, let me go. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Up? Why you know your shit nasty? You got to put it on the tape. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, gotta, you gotta close the door. Like, <laughs> you know you gotta turn the TV all the way up because yeah. the volume low. <laughs> yeah, what they talk about? Shit. Oh. <laughs> Behind the scenes is real as hell. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, that was that. This shit more lit than the movie. Yeah, they told me I was just gonna go to the club and I could just waitress and make the same money as the strippers, but they lied. They lied. That didn't work. <laughs> so I said, I got to do something else. If I'm gonna get to LA, this is not the way to do it. So that's expensive. <laughs> Them flights were high, baby. Hella high, like $1,200. Oh, shit. I would have never been in that motherfucker. <laughs> You would have never been in the movie, right? God damn. I would have like, took the drink. I would have got there too late. <laughs> well, I couldn't, but I couldn't say that. I was like, I'm not about to tell him I can't get there. He was like, can you be here in two weeks? I was like, two weeks? You and shit, they can't get you there. That's the same thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Kilo, I can get out there. Y'all got to send me back. <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. got to take me home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I had another good friend, good, just a good friend who did look out, who was like, look, I'll, I'll front you the money to get out here, and I'll give you a place to stay. And um, Raphael Sadiq. Raphael Sadiq is like my brother. And I love y'all again. Hey, it's Clayton English. Quick public service announcement. Throw that Thanksgiving turkey away. It's over, man. It's over. Once you start hitting that little breastbone, once you, the, the knife start hitting the breastplate, it's done. Ain't no more meat, man. Eat them turkey legs like you at a Madiba restaurant and, and go on about your life. It's time to get back to it, man. Get you some DoorDash. You can get new snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with a contactless delivery drop-off setting. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code 85SOUTH2021. That's 25% off up to $10 in value 
and zero delivery fees on your first order. When you download the DoorDash app in the in-app store and enter code 85SOUTH2021. Don't forget, that's code 85SOUTH2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller here. The holidays can be kind of hectic, but HelloFresh helps keep things simple with recipes that cut back on meal prep time and clean up so you can spend less time in the kitchen and more quality time with family and friends. Ingredients travel from the farm to your door within a week, so you get the convenience without skipping on the quality. Plus, skip trips to the grocery store and avoid the long holiday line. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. Don't forget dessert. Satisfy your sweet tooth with seasonal limited time goodies like ginger spice cake truffles and cherry cheesecake swirl bars. Save on average over $65 a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. That's more money to spend on presents and activities. The mozzarella and herb chicken I made was amazing, like a 10 out of 10. Nobody believes this. That's HelloFresh.com slash 85South14. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South14 and use code 85South14 for up to 14 free meals and get three free gifts. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it is, like, when you're good friends with people, it's weird because it's like you don't never want to ask them to like really put you on or bullshit. You know, but I, I bullshit. I, 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 think for women, I think for me and him, oh, oh, oh. him beefing about some shit like that right now, <laughs> man. Come on. You, 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 right, tell really? me. Tell me. Tell you tell me about it. Man, like, this nigga like this with Eddie Murphy. Uh, oh. Okay. Ain't even mention me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I be telling them about my little ugly partner. <laughs> I'm talking about whether they got juice or not. I plug everybody. But you know not what? That's, no that's Aries. That's how we are. That's Aries why I ain't like that's that. why I ain't really introduce you to him. <laughs> I ain't tell you that nigga name. I don't, I don't know his name. I mean, if you, if you want to know, it's him. I, I'm through putting them on anything. He ain't got shit coming from me. Oh, God. Right. All I know is This shit never fails, man. <laughs> that nigga been in two movies. Nah, I ain't even gonna say no. Oh, man. No way. Come on. <laughs> and then people just been sending me clips of all the episodes he been on where he be like, he don't fuck with you. He be sitting there like this. <laughs> it's a bunch of them. I'm in here recording some, some ads the other night. One of the pictures just randomly jump off the wall. <laughs> Look back there, his ass. <laughs> God is showing you who to cut off. <laughs> look at his picture over there on the floor. All the other pictures, look, that motherfucker jumped off the wall. <laughs> so nobody can nail my shit. No! No! <laughs> Ain't nothing else fail. <laughs> Did nothing else fall but that little baby ass picture. And this I guess it's just a sign of what's gonna come. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just started some hey, shit. Man. Yeah, uh -uh. You the never shit was, did. The shit started way before the end. The shit started way before the end. You gonna give me the same uh, reputation as Monica no. Callum? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it got started shit everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. like, you shit you up. No, it, been, it was started anyway. Okay. I was just kicking in because you here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking with you. Okay, okay. Him? <laughs> it's real touch and go, man. Sometimes oh, I be, because I be like, you know, I be like, no, let that shit go. But then I look at that nigga and then he be laughing too hard. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And I'm like, hold up, niggas, you laughing with me or at me, dude? You see what I'm saying? Because it be a long laugh, like, uh. <laughs> And then, yeah, like, I, I see it. a rare back laugh. Yeah, he leaned back with me. Oh, oh, you don't know. do that. Don't sit up. <laughs> I'm trying to part the nigga that block me in, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm like, well, is, is this it? Is this it? Yeah. Get out the car. It's him, bro. So when they, when they had the premiere, <laughs> they're talking about some positive shit. I know. Here we go. <laughs> L.A. Okay, okay. The, the premiere was in L.A. And yeah, and my mother came. Uh, what'd she yeah, say? She, what'd she that say? was her she, first you know, time finding no, out. No, no, no. So I did eventually, once I saw that they, that everybody on set was like really cool and behaved and everything, and you know, um, he had the um, Fruits of Islam. 
like us uh, security and all of that good stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna invite my mom finally. I was there about a month already, and I was like, so do you want to come to LA and visit me? And so she came, and I was like, so I gotta tell you something. I'm playing, and I'm I'm in a movie, <laughs> co star. She was like, oh, that's great. I said, and I'm a stripper and a lesbian. She was like. Okay, okay, I see. I said, but it's really a good set. And so she came and she met Ice Cube and she met, and he was, of course, very kind. So she was relaxed after that. She was cool. That's, that's yeah. yeah, she was good after that. So when she came to the premiere and actually saw it, she was just like, you did a great job. So yeah, so she relaxed after that. Can't yeah. nobody tell you shit if yeah. your mama like it. Yeah, yeah, so it was good. Yeah, so I don't even know if I saw it because I was like just so, I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, what's my mind? I don't think it was there. So yeah, the, at the premiere, it was like a blur to me. That was a whole just blur. Damn. And then the, in this in the entire like 20 some odd years, I've probably seen the movie three times. What? Mm -hmm. I might see yeah, the three movie times. three times in one night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to watch yourself. It's really difficult, a difficult thing to, well, for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. You probably didn't like it how we like it. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're gonna be like, oh, I couldn't have done that. Oh, man, look at that. You know, it's just that thing. Like, they used to say, you want to watch the dailies? And I was like, no, because, and to this day, when I do something, they say, do you want to watch the dailies? I don't want to see the dailies. Because if you watch the dailies for me, I don't want to see stuff and be like, oh, well, damn, I didn't do that right. I could to change that. And you try to change something up midway, then you really looking crazy. Because, like, yeah. first half of it, you was like this. The second half of it, you, no. I don't want to see the delis. Whatever it is is what it is. Whatever. So, yeah, that. Oh, I do remember one thing about the movie, though. So, um, Q was like, OK, so I'm going to send you to this appointment. You got to go to this appointment or whatever. And I'm like, an appointment? He's like, yes, at a place called Pink Cheeks. And I was like, OK, so what am, what am I having done? And he was like, yes, so they're going to wax you. And I'm like, what? Like, what do you, like, you got to think about when this was, though. This was years ago when it was like, and I was like, not wax savvy. <laughs> so, mm. so I'm like, going to wax bro. you. And he's like, yeah, like they're gonna they're gonna wax you because like he was like, I'm telling you, on camera, on film, like everything is amplified. So if you hairy, it's gonna be like you hairy. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but I didn't know how like they were how deep they were gonna go with the waxing. Yeah, so that was an interesting thing that happened. So Ice Cube, <laughs> Ice Cube invented. Women getting their coochie waxed. No, no. Right this moment. That's right this moment, man. Right this moment. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Wow. Black man, of course, we got wow. a shout out. Yeah. We brought that to How the black community. How's get a wax? <laughs> no, please. <laughs> but I was, yeah, it was just, it was painful. But I guess it was worth, worth it. It was oh, yeah. painful, but worth it. Because I didn't want to be amplified uh, with a hairy ass or whatever else. <laughs> so. Yeah, so yeah. That would have made it a whole different movie. A very different movie. <laughs> <laughs> the player would have been watching that like, this shit real, real. <laughs> <laughs> this is real, nigga. <laughs> that pussy is already wet, you see it? <laughs> oh, she liked this. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> that's loud. Bro, that's, loud. that's, that's <laughs> got to be on the east side. Club Blade. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing here. Yeah. Got it, got it. <laughs> yeah. Classic shit, man. Mm -hmm. We only hang out with big stars over here on the yeah. 85 South Show. Yeah. And sometimes we hang with them too, so. Now, what's your name again? <laughs> See? Him and Future got the same name. Oh. However you pronounce that. <laughs> okay, okay. Navadius. <laughs> okay. His name, Navy. Oh, I like His it. His name, Navardius. Is it, is it really? Tell me. It's, it's Nav Green. It's Navardius. He don't never tell nobody the whole, what's the what's Nav short for? Navars. See? Yeah, that's nice. You see how Navaris. I mess it up on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're great. Nigga, they made Nikes. <laughs> Them Navars. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? I thought it was gonna be a smooth night. No, nah, you did that shit. Why, what made you think oh, that? Man, it's me. What made you think that? I know I got friends who move stars too, nigga. And they don't know you. So I guess we even. <laughs> <laughs> he called himself doing comedy too. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Yeah. 
See how that's how good of a friend I am. Like, I ain't never gonna cut him off, but I'm gonna remind him yeah. that we could all be in a better position. <laughs> it just said like, one, yeah, one thing. I'm sure they was uh, talking on set, and he was like, "So now, who you think funny? Who you kicking with? Who in your crew?" He probably was just like, "I just, I do most of my shit by myself. <laughs> God know how he is." <laughs> <laughs> I really put myself on. You know? Okay. Ever since I won I MTV, Yo know. Mama, I just felt like I was better than all them, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never go through that struggle. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah nah, I'm nah, glad you see time. through that shit. <laughs> You don't know him like I know him. That's how he gets you. Oh, no. That's how he gets you. Oh, OK. That's how he gets you. Got it. He'll reel you in. He's smooth. He's smooth like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. He probably got a little tape or something he's going to try to give you for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a little no. reel. You know, yeah, okay. he got a few little clips. Mm-hmm. Little cameos and uh, shit. Okay, he got a few little clips. Me that isn't me. I do really fuck with Lowe's. So he just don't fuck with me. Man, same. he better not uh, have no 85 Sapshow clips on there. <laughs> <laughs> I see the shit at you. Right? You don't own none of that. You ain't going to clear my shit? Nope. I ain't clearing a motherfucking thing. This shit like the NBA. You can't even have this shit Why without the express written consent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He did for real. Too. Oh no, no. Yeah, he, don't say that. he showed his ass with me. It's it, okay. I, th- I think he gonna I think he got a plan, a grand pay. plan. Business is business. Okay. No, it's a grand plan. Mm-hmm. It's something good, something great. Yeah, I seen on him on the road with some more people and everything. Oh. Yeah, he didn't mention that. Okay. That's, that's how long he cut me off though. Yeah. <laughs> He don't never tell the yeah, whole yeah. side of the story. And now. Look. I tried to squash you. I said, hey, Los, I hope you're having a good day. Hey, man. Hey, Red. Man. Hey. Red. <laughs> Red. Cap. <laughs> I'm on the old Instagram picture. Cap. <laughs> and like, he done turned the whole community against me. Uh, oh, no, 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 I can be on a different type of post. <laughs> And I make a little comment, and somebody might come. That's fucked up. You ain't tell anybody. Call up. I'm like, bro. I love this shit. I love this shit. Look, look, here's real talk. I want somebody to pay. I want somebody to pay. They had lost somebody. I was like, I'm praying for you. You sure went praying for Lowe's when you went. Yes, and I love it. That's the type of people follow him. That's the low side. That's the I love it. They be debating the shit on Facebook. Hey man, him and Lowe's done let that go. I uh-huh. jump right under there. No the fuck, we ain't. <laughs> no, we ain't. I don't forgive nothing to nobody. You did me wrong, and I'm gonna keep bringing it up. Oh, I'm gonna keep bringing it up. Forever. We gonna be 79 sitting at the barbershop. Arguing about this shit. We but taking, y'all will still be friends. We taking this see, one to the see, dirt. See this hope. He said 79, y'all still. I know. Said, yeah. That man, he gonna, hey, I feel like one night he gonna be on that liquor and he gonna want, man, why are you bringing this shit up? <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck that, man, fuck that. Oh, man, cool out, cool out. No, let him go, goddammit. <laughs> let him go. <laughs> he can't talk if you holding him, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing like that old black man argument, boy. Especially when they about to fight. Let him go, motherfucker. <laughs> this my house. Okay. Nigga, I don't gotta say that. What side of the town you grew up on? So I I was born here in Atlanta, but I was raised in California. Oh, and I came back here in 93. You already grown? Yeah. So yeah, you ain't gonna go to high school or nothing like that. No, I went to high school here one year, but I went to a school that nobody heard of. <laughs> it's called Woodland. Woodland High School, um, out by Greenbrier. And that's what I'm saying. Nobody, everybody's like, where? What? I don't know that school. That so shit must not last long. It must not have. All I know is like I think our competition was like Southwest. Is that a school? Southwest, Southwest? the camp? Yeah. Like somebody like, I don't know. Anyway, it was one, it was like nine months I went to the school, whatever. Then I, that was it. Yeah, I went oh, to one wow. year. Mm-hmm. Then I went back to California. My mom was like, no, come back. And so, yeah. Then I came back in 93 and been here since then. Yeah. Oh, so after the movie, you 
came back. No, I was here before the movie. Yeah, I'm saying after you went out there to uh, shoot the movie, oh, you yeah, didn't yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, you know, a lot oh, yeah. of people get caught up in staying. Well, I was bi coastal for a while, mm -hmm. while I could afford it, but then I had to come back and strip some more to get my money back up. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Shit, stripping in 93 in Atlanta was so profitable. Some of them women don't even work to this day. Okay, okay. Look, <laughs> strawberry, white chocolate. Ice. What was your name? When I danced? Yeah. Oh, gosh, what was my name? Oh, Shit. Sparkle. Probably had a few of them. I did have a few. Sparkle was one of them. Most strippers got, like, a real name that's a fake name, a stage name, an alternate name. <laughs> and the name she used to uh, strip under in her old city. You gotta That's have a lot a, of names. You gotta have a few different identities. I saw I wasn't a real stripper then because I had like my name. It just that name. Oh, just one stage. You ain't going to do, real do it long. No, oh, I, I didn't do it long enough either. I think you know. I was like, I, I was like, that was like my part time job because I would still be working at the law firm. <laughs> And <laughs> working at the strip club in the evening. Because I was like, I'm about to buy a house. Oh, you was and on day shift? Like, no, I had to work during the day, so oh, I was okay. on night shift. And I remember I bumped into one of my like co-workers at the club, and I was like, Joe, don't you say shit. Shit, hit my ass ass or nothing. Yeah, yeah, but it's different, you know. He's a patron. Them Joes uh, be so, like that. <laughs> them Joes, I, but he was like, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna just come back. When you work again? <laughs> Couldn't keep Joe out of the yeah. office after that. <laughs> hey, hey uh, you wanna get some lunch or something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we we thinking Chinese. We thinking Chinese. <laughs> Joe, the dude at the office point when he told, hey, Chinese. <laughs> but let me say this. He asked if I was on Jay Ship. I should have been. <laughs> Take that how you want to. I was not one of the like dedicated dancers. You I'm gotta like, keep in mind, this is at the height of Atlanta yeah. stripping, bro. Hey, 93 is the golden era. Yeah. Michael yeah. Jordan then was in the club then. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, probably, I should have been on day shift. <laughs> 93? Yeah, Dominique Wilkins might pull up. Dion. Yeah. Oh, the Kimbe. Yeah. Andre Rising. Shit, all them niggas. Yeah, that's what Anthony I met Tupac. Mason. I met Tupac. Tupac? Mm -hmm. You met? Oh, damn. This yeah. nigga lit up. Oh. Tupac? Yeah. yeah. yeah he was what song cool did you too. dance to for Tupac? <laughs> what, what was he drinking? <laughs> And then I worked at a club called Diamonds and Pearls. I worked as a waitress there. No, no, were, two, were they smoking good weed or were you just some men? What you want to know, too? You asking about two Yeah, because you done brought it up already. <laughs> two Did you say, what, was who smoking good weed? Who was smoking good weed in 93? Snoop. Snoop had good weed in 93? I think so. So in 93, Snoop and Dre, they was, and everybody else smoking bullshit. Not I everybody so. else. And let me say, you're asking me. I'm not a connoisseur. Okay. But you can but, smell it. But yeah, I can smell it. And then, I, you know, I can see the difference in highs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I knew people that was high and feeling great. And then people that was high was like, damn, I don't, I don't know how the fuck I feel. Right. <laughs> you know, the difference. Damn, that's, but, uh, but yeah. it, that's a long time to be like holding <laughs> on to some good weed. <laughs> 30 years. Yeah. Plus. Yeah. yeah they, good they weed. Smoking good weed back then. A consistent plug for 30 years? Yeah. You got to really keep your ear to the street. <laughs> Imagine you try to get him some bad weed. Probably I, but you got to think about it as Snoop. So I think people with good weed look for him. Hey, I can't give him weed. I don't give a fuck how good it's my like weed is. <laughs> if Snoop is around, I'm never pulling my weed out. Why? No, I would never. What I look like showing up with some weed to smoke with Snoop? Nope. <laughs> Show me what? what you got, big homie. Man, I don't give a fuck what it is. Sell me some of yours. I know your shit better than mine. You Even if this the best weed in the world, Snoop got some shit that they just finished working on. <laughs> he gonna true. tell you. <laughs> this is probably true. I got some of that do it fluid. <laughs> How you gonna say it? Got some of that dude fluid. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably Telling so. You. Just like that. <laughs> but I don't know if Pac smoked weed. I never saw him smoke, he did, you, but he would drink. He smoked a lot of weed. Did he, he smoked okay. cigarettes, I know that. Yeah. He was a smoker. Okay, yeah, I saw cigarettes and drink, but I never seen yeah, him Yeah, he liked weed, weed a lot. Yeah. 
That's cold, though. And bowling. He liked to bowl. Nobody knew that. No. That's a that's random a two, two yeah. park fact for your head. Uh -huh. This nigga yeah. here got his own bowling shoes and all. <laughs> no, not, not, not that deep, but oh. he did like to bowl. Yeah, that was like one of his little things he liked to do. He never talked about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm on lane three. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas come and bowl with me now. <laughs> We're gonna roll a strike. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah. I Fingers in the hole like they a pussy. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. All right. <laughs> Man, Lo, you the funniest nigga I know, bro. Too bad you don't tell nobody else. <laughs> Too bad you don't tell nobody else. It's all good, man. I'm, I'm really about to just, you know what? You know what? Y'all ain't. Like, I'm not trying to man, be she, she gonna be in the company with the rest of the lows high right now. I won't, I won't, man, I won't. she came to see me at Cats, man. She ain't fucking with y'all, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> I see how it is, bro. No, I see man. how it is, man. Y'all get on and just. Just forget who your real friends I'm are. I'm still yeah. with you. Bro, you, it ain't you ain't it ain't cause you wanna be. <laughs> it's cause they they yeah, when they, the movie was yeah. over, it was over. I realized they yeah. was yeah, exactly. you. Yeah, exactly. You turned your back on me and tried to come back. <laughs> well shit, you let me back. Man, I, cause I don't never want that karma. <laughs> I know what God do to people who try to punish. It's not up to me to punish you. That's the word. That's now, the word. all I try to do is bring you around some real love so you know what it feel like. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So tell us, how was it when you were on the movie set? I just think about my 85 South. I don't know you that shit. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. I like it. Whatever, man. We're proud of that nigga. Oh. We're proud of him, man. Yeah. He, do his, he do his thing, you know. But you know, I don't ever want him to get ahead of himself. I don't care how successful he get. I yeah. still want him to live with the guilt. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. enough payback for me. <laughs> they just, they just sold out in Greensboro, twelve thousand five hundred people. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Guess who we let go up before we even got out there? Oh. Yeah, yeah. He shot his whole little 30 minutes back. <laughs> they couldn't get this nigga off stage. They in the back. Now! <laughs> now! <laughs> nigga making up names. Hey, now I'm short for Nedrick. Nedrick! <laughs> so, when did your special come out? It ain't. <laughs> Camera wasn't even on. Camera wasn't even on. We don't record this part. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the battery before we get out there. Hell no. Oh, see them car full. What? No, we got 30 no. minutes of nap. No, delete all that shit. I got it. You have no footage? I said, like how you said about the daily, I was like, let me see the daily. There ain't no dailies. It started off with Cat introducing them. That's where the shit started. I make sure they don't record his shit. I make the cameraman come in there and record me walking to the stage. Ain't no. We ain't use none of our extra equipment on this nigga, man. Nothing. If he want to record it, he can sit his phone down. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I heard he had already signed a little deal with somebody else to record his special. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They going right. to put it on their well, YouTube channel for him. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> He done signed all the rights away. I tried to buy him back, but he done signed for about 7,500 up front. We're going to celebrate yeah. all wins. That's a win, yeah. okay? Nah, no, that ain't no win. Like, 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 that ain't no win. Okay, all right. They own his middle name, everything. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. Jerry, I ain't even want to read all that shit, man. 13 right. pages. They gave him a 180 right. deal. Oh, no. He only gonna get half the money. Half of the 75? Yeah. Okay. So after the movie had dropped, like, what, like, what you like, I'm gonna go full, full throttle with his ass. Like, nope, yeah. she went back to rapping and stripping. <laughs> she had a bit. That's you what still she... trying to get your tape off? 
No, that's no. when she made the video on the tape. <laughs> no, I did that before. I did we that should, before. You should we sell it as that. an NFT. You probably could get some racks no, for that I'm bitch by now. No, honestly, it'd be funny. A one of one? Yeah. Then yeah. somebody gonna have to transpose it from. From that, from VHS to, yeah, such go. I'm gonna a little USB dry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bump it up. Yeah, hey, it's a thought. Chris Style uncut. <laughs> What if, the the dust. what if the tape come on and she had one of Jake Steve parties? Who? <laughs> <laughs> the rapping nigga. My name is Jake Steve. <laughs> I, I do. Everybody, okay. everybody who watched this shit know who Jake okay, Steve is. Okay, okay. All the old head niggas do. Okay. Look how you like, old oh, Jake. <laughs> Jake was a fool, man. The nigga had a bunch of porno movies and he used to rap. Oh. They used to drop videos in between the scene. Okay, gotcha. So he a legend okay. in the hood. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. Freaks, hoes, and flows. Uh huh. Like <laughs> he had a lot of movies and they had crazy titles. It'd be like Merry Christmas, bitch, and then he had like <laughs> it'd be it's okay, gotcha. shit like it was he's stupid. like a little modern day uh, Dolomite -ish yeah. type of thing. Yeah. Okay, got but it. But it was hardcore. Yeah, yeah it was hardcore. Yeah. Mm. Booty talking shit. I it's an error. Speaking to, to my constituent. Right. Yeah. What you been working on recently, man? And where can these people catch up oh, with you and God. follow you and you find know, you? And, you know. Because well, everybody been looking for their favorite Players yay. Club movie character. Yes. I, 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 I'm telling you, that just still, like I said, it blows my mind. But um, so I do still act. And um, I, I'm doing, like, right now, streaming on BET Plus is All the Queen's Men with um, Eva Marcel. And I play... Oh, no. So it's like a male uh, players club. Yeah. So it's about a male strip club. And she is the kind of, like, the the madam, per se, of the strip club Eva is. And now, like I said, I play her sister. I'm not a and, um, it's, But no, no, let me say this. It is some... It's really a good show. It's a really good show. Um, and I was nervous going into it and doing it because, you know, um, I, I hadn't worked with any of those people before. And um, it, it just was a lot of dynamics. It was during quarantine. I had to quarantine the Tyler Perry Studios the whole entire time. And so it just, you don't have an opportunity to really interact with people and we shot it quick. Yeah. But it came out, it came out really well. So, um, <clears throat> and I'm sure we're gonna be getting a season two. So you have to look for that. If you haven't seen it, though. I thought that show was for women. Yeah, but no, Eve, and Eva's dynamite in it as well. So, and it's interesting. Our our dynamic is really interesting. It's like it is like some Diamond Ronnie type of thing, but we're sisters. So, and it's a male strip club. It's a male strip club, but it's not it's it's not focused on that. I will say that. So it is it is eye candy in there for the men. So I don't don't be scared. For the what? Like, for the men, like, you oh. know, because there's beautiful women in oh, okay. it. And, okay. and it's, you know, it's, it's uh, not, no. You need to break them sentences no, no, no. up. They're too close let together. Me, let, me, let me be very clear. I'm going to say, clear. yeah, I'm going to get counsel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the counsel, please. No, I'm me. Oh, I was going to say some crazy shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that kind of eye candy at all for the men. That is for the women and um, the men who like that. But um, but it's it's you know it's more to the story than just this male strip club. I would say that. There's some really good acting and all like that. It. And just fast forward past those parts because you know. No, I'm just, just gonna just let them have that, man. <laughs> like you said, everything ain't for everybody. Everything ain't for everybody. Man, let them people enjoy their show. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll I'm be watching man, I'm gonna somebody. support you, but I just go back to watch the strip club. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So yeah, so that and then yeah. I do a lot of behind the scenes work. That, like I said, I've been doing that since before Players Club, though. And a lot of people don't know that. So right now, um, I'm working on Atlanta. And then, yeah, yeah. 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 It's very cool. It's cool, you And know. I didn't know you was really from the city. Like, yeah. that's a... I'm That's really key. from yeah. Atlanta, and I'm, I love—I have a love, just a straight-up love for this city. Like, that's another reason why I never just totally went to LA or any other place. Because even with Players Club, if if you think about it, during that time, I was probably one of the first Black actresses to do something in major in film like that. Besides Jasmine Guy, Jasmine Guy did—I think she did Harlem Nights, probably yeah. right before that. So. 
but just to take that chance, and I was like, I gotta rep for the city. Like, I can't just be well, corny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm glad it came out well, and you know, that I was able to do that. So, and do it from being right here. Yeah. So that's that. Well, there you have it, yeah, folks. There you Another have one it. in the books. The yeah. legendary yeah. Miss Chris I meant to bring y'all a copy of my book. I thought I had a copy of my book called Sex Appease. And so it's this book that I wrote, and because I love to cook, and um, and so it's like erotic stories and recipes, and so my ass is on the cover. <laughs> Yeah, shit. I want to support. I, I have to bring you back a copy of it. Y'all have to bring you guys back up. I was like, oh, where's my What's book? one of the like, recipes in there? So one of the recipes is fruit pizza. And um, and so what I'll do is I'll break down this recipe, like uh, how you make a fruit pizza, and then I'll say what the what the recipe reminds me of. And so that recipe reminds me of when I lost my virginity, and then I tell the story about how I lost my virginity. Then I have another recipe in there. <laughs> Can I read the story? Get the freakiest no motherfucker in the world. <laughs> tell, tell me about it. What, what? Ah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so you lost your virginity. Now what the pizza tastes like? Yeah. <laughs> Fruit pizza. <laughs> so do oh, and there's and there's there are pictures in there. There are pictures in there. Before I leave, you the book. I know. I'm so mad at myself. Cause here's the thing. This is how I tested the, if the book would you be. You sure good. you ain't got the book? I'm positive and I'm so mad because I had the book in a it freaking bag. It might be bag. one in your trunk. This look is about me working. Look what this is about, about. This is what happens when we work. Like I said, I came, I came here straight from work, right? So I leave work. When I leave for work, it's dark. And when I get home, it's dark. That's what it is about working behind the scenes of production. So I was like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got, I got what I'm gonna change into, or I would have came here in a dicky suit because that's like what I always wear to work, like Cleo or some shit. shit. Yeah, so so I'm like, oh, I can't wear a dicky suit because then they gonna be like, what the hell is she doing with a dicky suit? You anyway. did wore whatever. <laughs> yeah, so so I was like, I got all the, I forgot my damn books. I know that was right there on the table, and I was like, but I came here, I was like, where are my books? Damn, I forgot the books. But, oh, I, I'm mad about the books. Yeah, shit. so I'm gonna bring the books, okay? I'm gonna we bring the books, but I'll drop them off so then, you know, it can have me back. Like, you know, after season two of All the Queen's Men or something like that, and then we'll talk, and we can talk about the book. Okay, but bet. how I tested the book out, I said, I'm gonna give it to a basketball player, I'm gonna give it to a housewife, and if they both read it, then I know that it'll sell. <laughs> so they both got through the book. Where is it available? Uh, on Amazon, you get off Amazon. BarnesandNoble.com, so it's online yet. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Well, we'll send us the link and we'll post it. Yeah. So, so people can know exactly how to get yeah. fruit pizza and their virginity <laughs> back. What's another meal? <laughs> another meal is a, a Ritzy. And so, um, and so what, it's a Ritz cracker and this cream cheese with caviar and tomato and olive. And I know it sounds crazy, but this rich guy taught me how to make it. And like, if you're drinking or you getting fucked up and you make this and just take a bite of it, it's so damn good. It's like amazing. So then my story about it is like, I talk about how like, you can be attracted to somebody, not just because of their money or how they look, but because they're charming. And I call it like the Ritzy because he was rich and taught me how to make it. But so it's like all these stories. And then it, t it says how I met this dude and how I, you know, how I interacted with him. And, you know, it's it's very interesting. I think the book interesting. He ain't really, he ain't no meal caught my eye yet. Like, OK, what else you want to know about? I have a potato salad. It's called the Trusted Potato Salad. You got nothing with no meat. Yeah, I got meat in there. Yeah. I got some meat in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to a female cat. I got something with some meat in there. Yeah, like, yeah. Cat, you too old for that immature ass shit. Talking about, oh. I'm talking to a female. He tell me so, to say, Paul. But let me tell you, let me tell you why it's not like a lot of meat recipes in there. Because the recipes in there really honestly remind me of something sexual that I did oh. or I experienced. Okay. And so it's like, I ain't gonna be like, oh, well, steak. And so, you know, I remember when this nigga was like, bust me out. No, I'm like, I'm not. But now you wanna lean sorry, up and you start that? doing that shit. You a freak ass. I gotta break my back and break my ass. Now you <laughs> The fuck some French fries, right? The fuck some French fries. <laughs> So yeah, it is some recipes in there that you know, right. you know. Oh, you definitely. just have to, you gotta get the flow of the yeah. book. Man, let's know? do us a cookbook and we can do shit. <laughs> and the recipes are tried and true and they're really good. These and broke ass burgers. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gonna have, they not like broke back burgers. No, okay? we gonna have all the recipes and shit we used to eat on the come up. 
Oh. Y'all ain't ready for this. Let's do it. Let's hamburger do helper stroganoff. <laughs> hamburger helper stroganoff. Yeah, that's where you eat half of it, and then you put it in the refrigerator, and then you eat the other half. Here it is. Here it is. I like a it. A day later. A, a day? Just a day? Just okay. a day. You that's gotta stretch like it. That's what you like to marinate. Yeah, that's the hamburger. <laughs> But yeah, so I have to bring you copies of the book back. We got to get the book. Write that yeah. down, man. Sex. Appeals. I don't really never ask you to do shit. It's but like you recipes, remember. but with sex. Sex <laughs> appeals. All sex right, baby. Sex appeals. Mm -hmm. S E X. If you Google it, the book cover will come up, and then okay. you'll let me know. let me buy it. Why you here? So you don't think I'm lying? <laughs> I'm trying to bring it back. Some copies. It's good. Like that's just how Lo said he liked to support. Well, I appreciate it. I find him. I try to support these. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that. Don't bring it up. <laughs> Don't bring it up. Don't bring it back Six, up. Six P's A P P E A S E. Let me do it. Yeah. Cat already in the You heard it. Let's see. There it is. Oh, it's right there. And you five out of five. Let me see. <laughs> five out of five. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that's great. Let's, let me see. Is it this? I think, is that that? I don't know. That's probably yeah. it. But I'll bring that. I'll bring that. I don't see it on. She said it's on Amazon. I could type it in on Amazon. Oh, there you go. Go to Amazon. Rosa. I'm on it. Yeah, type it in. With the strawberry. The paperback. <clears throat> oh, shit. That, that's really you, Chris? Yes, <laughs> the only ass I had clearance to rights to. You couldn't use nobody else's. <laughs> yeah, I can't they... use nobody else's. <laughs> oh, look, I'm not trying to get sued. It's just a blessing to be, you know, still. Boy, who would buy a cookbook with an ass on it? Oh. Shit, we is. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I walked in here and you wasn't here, and I was like, man, you gotta get this cookbook. And you saw it was hands on it. You can be like, yeah, no, no but yeah. it has a strawberry. But you gotta, and some if you cream. tell me who has it was. <laughs> Bro, you gotta buy the cookbook with the ass on it. And then you gotta act like you don't know you got it. Like Your it's a regular. Regular cookbook. Senior. Hey, it's, baby, maybe some pancake. Up, get the cookbook out the door. Carlos phone is bringing up wet ones. And uh, oh, yeah. is freaking up everything. It's some freaking, it freaking? It's some, it's some freaking motherfuckers around right here. <laughs> how, how my shit different? <laughs> All right, man. Are you on Google? <laughs> <laughs> Did it come up that time? Let me see. Okay, yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm buying it now. Oh, thank you. I'd have brought it to you. I'd have brought it to coffee. <laughs> it's on the table, but I still bring copies. I bring copies for you guys. <laughs> Look, the good ladies are like, I don't want that. Nah, oh man, you support this black woman it's good, and buy a cookbook ladies. with an ass on it. 85 South Show. Carlos Miller, Chris Dow. Hey. Yep, we out. <laughs> <laughs>